Hi everyone and welcome back to another year of fitness session, week 3, session 3, today with me, Coach Jacob. And we want to slowly build up and move on from that extreme emphasis on movement quality to still maintaining that same movement quality but getting in a few more reps and challenging your system by that more and more. All movements that we're going to do here today, you know from those previous sessions with me, everything that you're going to need is your mat, your glass or bottle of water. We're going to talk about hydration again later. And other than that, maybe your speaker to play your own workout playlist. All right. Other than that, nothing needed. If you have some weights, some dumbbells, some kettlebells, a barbell at home, feel free, use it um, according to your own discretion and liking, all right? With all that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into our preparation to get ready for one strength block and one metabolic conditioning challenger at the end, all right? So, we want to kick off today's session today's workout really nice and easy all right we want to start with some breathing to set our intention for today's session so with me please move into our heel sit all right torso nice and upright proud chest what we want to do is some box breathing all right box breathing we inhale, hold, exhale, hold. We want to try that today with four seconds per stage. So first four seconds in, four seconds hold, four seconds out, four seconds hold for one minute only. All right, through your nose into your belly that is expanding like a balloon on your inhale and sinking back in on the exhale. So. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, four seconds each. One minute, I'm gonna let you know when that minute is over. Right now, close your eyes if you want to and then start breathing through your nose into your belly, please. Right, everyone, slowly finish your last box, your last breath cycle, and then I hope you're focused now. I hope you're ready. I am. So let's jump into our pillar and movement preparation. For our first movement, please follow along with me from here. We move. Or we actually stay on the floor we simply sit down all right feet in front of us approximately shoulder width heels on the floor what we're going to do from here is our shin box all right so we simply let our knees fall towards one side our torso stays nice and upright imagine you have a glass of water on top of your hat don't spill any of that water what we're gonna add here today is a hip thrust, all right? So right now I'm gonna bring my hip forward, all right? And I move into our half kneeling position. Half kneeling position to get a nice stretch for that quad hip flexor area by reaching towards the ceiling wherever our knee is still on the ground. That's where my arm is going towards the sky then I lean towards my front leg, lean back and move back through our shin box. All right, now we switch sides, same thing, 
nice and upright here, all right? Hip thrust, move into half kneeling position, getting that quad hip flexor stretch by leaning towards that front leg again. Now on the opposite leg, move through your shin box. Of course, you can use your arms and hands as assistance behind you to maintain that nice posture here. All right, and then give me three reps on each side. That's my second rep on that first side. Really get nice and long, reach, 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 plus lean, lean back, and then move back through your shin box, nice and upright. As I said, if you want, you can do that without arms, without hands, as assistance. <sighs> Last rep here for me, staying nice and upright. Bringing that hip forward, half kneeling, one last time, moving back into our neutral shin box, very nice everyone, finish your last rep, and then we are still in our movement preparation, um, we now move into three rounds, two movements, alright, so let's do that, our next movement is gonna be our DNS star variation. So we move into our lateral pillar bridge with our knees bent, elbow underneath my shoulders. Now I lift off the hip, ear, shoulder, hip, knee, one straight line. The only thing that I want to see from you now, please sit back with your butt towards those heels and bring that hip forward again. Let's go five reps here, hip back, hip forward, all right, sit back, hip into the wind, two more reps for me, last one here, and then switch sides, all right, let's go, same thing, lateral pillar bridge, ear, shoulder, hip, knee, one line, and then hip back, hip forward, really reach for your heels with your butt, two more reps for me, All right, five reps here again, five on each side, and then please stand up. Our next movement is our RDL, all right? RDL staggered stance. So front leg loaded, whole foot pushing into the ground, big toe, little toe, heel, knee slightly bent, opposite foot goes back, just slightly touching that ground, helping with our balance, all right? Now from here, hip, Driver of the motion, goes back, all right, again, ear, shoulder, hip, one straight line, hip forward, let's go, five reps, hip back, hip forward, five reps, then we're going to switch sides, last here for me, and switch, let's go, same thing, front leg loaded, Hip back, hip forward. Five reps. Last one, brace that core, ribs down to the hips, squeeze those glutes. Very nice. All right, I told you three rounds, those two movements. So we move back on the floor into our lateral pillar bridge. What we're gonna add now is some arm action. All right, so lateral pillar bridge, you remember, ear, shoulder, hip, knee, one line, hip off the ground. Now, as soon as we sit back, we reach forward with that hand. And now, when we bring that hip forward again, hip into the wind, we bring hand and hip together. Looks like so. All right. So pretty similar to what we did before, only that added arm action. Give me five reps again. Last two for me, and then switch sides please, lateral pillar bridge, and sit back, bring hand and hip together, 
Three more reps for me. Reach, reach, reach. For your heels with your butt and for that wall in front of you with your hands. All right, very nice. Then please stand back up for our RDL. Now slight variation also here. Back into our staggered stance. We start nice and upright with that Y, okay? Hands and arms overhead. Now in that position, that nice straight line from hand all the way down to your hip. We pivot over, all right? As soon as we are in our end range, hands go back and we come up normally, okay? As we did before. Now here, hands go overhead again into that big Y, thumbs pointing backwards, pivot over, hands back, hip forward. Let's go, five reps again. Some tiny distraction for you, but at the end of the day, it's still hip back, hip forward. Hip is the quarterback here. Don't let that arm action distract you from that main movement pattern in your hip. Let's go. Reach, reach, reach. On that way back. Hands down again on your way up. Eccentric downward face, arms overhead, upward concentric face regularly. Two more reps here for me. On those positions. Last one. Reaching overhead, pivot over. Bring the hip into the wind. Very nice. All right, third round, third round. Back down on the floor for our DNS star. Now we want to take it up a notch again. And in that lateral pillar bridge, we want to abduct our top leg. All right, from here, everything stays the same. Sit back, reach forward with your hand. Bring hand and hip together. Let's go. Five reps. Hip back, hip forward. Two more reps for me. And then switch sides. Same thing, abduct that top leg, hip back, hip forward, reach, 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 sit down and bring that hip forward. Two more reps for me. Last one here. Very nice, very nice everyone. Finish your last reps and then please stand up for our RDL now. In that last round, we keep our arms in that Y the whole time, all right? Downward eccentric and upwards concentric, arms over heart the whole time. Let's go. Staggered stance, starting hip width, then one foot back, and let's go. Hip back, hip forward, shoulders staying away from your ears. Brace that core, squeeze those glutes. Last rep here for me. Hip back, hip forward. Front leg loaded, switching that front leg now. Pivot over, hip into the wind. Hip back, belt buckle forward. Ribs stay down to the hips. No movement in your lower back. Brace that core, squeeze those glutes. Last rep for me. All right. Very nice, everyone. Finish your last reps. And then please grab your water bottle or your glass of water and rehydrate. All right, rehydrate before we move Pillar and movement preparation, our warm up done into our strength block. Drink a sip and then for our strength block, you're gonna need a wall or something stable next to you that you can lean into. Alright? The movement you already now know from our first session. 
All right, so you remember, we want to lean into that wall and we want to do today our open step. So right now here, my left leg, my outer leg is the driver of the motion. So what I want to see is you lean into that wall, you move into triple flexion, hip, knee, ankle from here, from small to tall. All right, you extend everything in that outer leg plus you drive that in the knee plus your toes into the wall. Load and lift. Five reps, all right? One rep down for me, so let's go. I have four more here. Small to tall. Load, lift. Last one here for me. Very nice, everyone. Now, we directly move into our push to base. Same leg that was the driver there is the driver now, all right? So my left leg is the driver for our push to base. We start in that base position, shoulders above knees, above toes. From here, outer leg is extending and we push into our base, all right? 10 reps of that, only the left leg for me here is pushing now. Let's go, one rep down, nine to go for me, 10 in total. Always push into your stable base. All right, I don't have enough space here, so I simply go back to where I just began. And 10 reps in total, three reps down, seven to go. Push to base, push to base. Six reps down, four to go. Very nice, everyone. Now, we simply gonna switch sides. So opposite leg is the driver now. Back to that wall for your open step. Let's go. Small to tall. Let's go, let's go. Five reps here at the wall. Directly into 10 reps for your push to base. I have two more reps here. Load, lift, triple flexion, triple extension, bring the hip forward. Very nice. Now push to base. Now the opposite leg also here is my driver the quarterback of our push to base. Let's go. Always back into that stable base. Push that ground away. All right, 10 reps in total. I have four more reps here. Six down. Last one for me. All right, very nice. So, those are our two movements for our strength block, plus one additional movement, kind of a corrective. All right, so finish your last push to basis, and then our third movement, third and last one for that strength block, is our plank to seal. So we move into our plank position, Head to heel strong as steel. I want you to own that position. All right, ear, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, one straight line. From here, I let my hip sink into that ground. Try to stay upright in my torso. Look straight forward, hold it for a few seconds. Back into a stable plank. All right, ribs down to the hips and relax into seal. Two reps down for me. Three to go. Brace everything, tighten up everything you have in the plank, and then relax into your seal. Two more reps for me. And last one now. Had to heel strong as steel in the plank. And then let your hips sink into the ground. One last time for me into a stable plank. And then relax. All right, very nice everyone. Now, rehydrate between rounds. That was one round. All right. Right now, please, simply pause the video. Pause the video and go for one 
to two more rounds. Rather two actually aim here is to go for three rounds on your own. All right, open step five reps directly into 10 reps, push to base, then switch sides and legs, five, five reps at the wall again into 10 push to base and finish that round before you move into your next one with that plank to seal five reps. Easy to remember. Right now, remember, rehydrate, drink a sip, and then pause the video and go for those two more rounds on your own. If you've done so, fantastic, great job. Now, if you haven't done in between, at latest now, grab your water bottle, rehydrate, before we conclude today's session with our metabolic conditioning challenger. All right, rehydrate. And to give you a few more moments of rest, you can still catch your breath, mentally prepare for our last part. I will quickly talk with you about hydration. In that first session with me, I already told you how much you should drink every day. It was, do you remember, 50% of your body weight in pounds in ounces of water. So let's say my body weight is 200 pounds, all right, just to make it a bit more easy for me to calculate, 200 pounds, I should drink 100 ounces per day, ounces of water per day, all right, 50% of my body weight in pounds, in ounces of water. So how to make that easier? One trick that I want to share with you, easy thing, grab and actually get your favorite bottle. All right, research shows and I can confirm that. If you have your favorite bottle at home that you take with you every day to work or wherever you go, it's always filled up with water, you will automatically remember to drink. All right, so choose, get your favorite water bottle and take it with you every day. It's that one I have here, it's actually a quite simple one, it's actually a shaker, but it's easy to refill, it's fantastic. So I just make sure by having that one with me every day to stay hydrated, all right? So that's something easy that you can incorporate into your day. Fantastic. All right, enough of me talking. We want to tackle our last bit for today, our metabolic conditioning challenger. Today, we go for an M-Rep of five minutes. As many repetitions or as many rounds as possible in five minutes. The format is slightly different to what we did last week in that M-Rep, for example. So today, in those five minutes, as soon as the time starts running, we have a buy-in, okay? So something we have to finish before we actually are allowed to go on. Our buy-in is going to be a glute bridge with our shoulders elevated, okay? So you grab a chair or a bench or your sofa and then hip down, hip towards the ceiling, all right? It's actually a hip thrust, all right? 30, 30 reps of that, 30 times up and down. Right now, follow along with me. Get a few of those reps in to get familiar with that movement before we actually start. What I want to mention at this, at this point is this is not a challenge who gets his hip the highest, all right? We don't want to hyperextend in that lower back. It's simply hip down, hip up by squeezing those glutes. So, it's actually quite similar to what we can do here by what we call an anterior pelvic tilt and posterior. This is the main thing that happens also in the glute bridge, right? Every time, squeeze your glutes, bring your ribs down to the hips, brace that core. 30 reps as a buy-in. Time keeps running. As soon as you are done with that, you have two movements that you're gonna alternate between afterwards. Your first one is a lateral bound 
with contralateral knee touch. So quite similar to what we had in our push to base, all right? It's now a lateral bound with the contralateral knee touch. Looks like so. All right, five each, five each. So 10 in total, directly into our dead buck. Okay, dead buck. You should know, you might know that movement. Meanwhile, so from here, shoulders lift off the ground, hands above my shoulders, knees above my hips and then alternating left leg, right arm and vice versa. Okay, five each, 10 in total. Give me a few reps of that. Get familiar with that movement as well. Lower back pushing into the ground, ribs down to the hips. Okay, so you set your timer, five minutes, all right? As soon as the timer starts, as the time starts, you start with your buy-in, 30 of those hip thrusts. Then you're done with the hip thrusts and you just alternate between our lateral bounds with contralateral knee touch and those step box five each always all right until those five minutes are over so in terms of as many rounds as many repetitions as possible we actually only count those lateral bounds and the dead box fantastic i'm gonna leave you with that last bit alone finish strong everyone enjoy it set your timer and then let me know in the comments how many repetitions you finished all right Fantastic. Tackle that last bit and then hope to see you next time. Cheers, everyone.